We were struck by a prediction that came out of a legal settlement between the NFL and former players. At least 25% of retired players can expect to develop dementia and much younger than those who did not play. We asked Dr. John LaPook to tell us what's being done to help the players. And there's my old coach, Reeb Eubank. In Dave Herman's den, the memories run wall to wall. Highlights of a decade-long career with the New York Jets. Old oh, memories, that's Michigan State. Now 73, he played right tackle during the 1969 Super Bowl. I was lined up against big Bubba Smith, and so he was slapping me in the head off for 60 minutes. And I woke up after the game, I said, who won? <laughs> Over the past 20 years, Herman's wife, Roma, noticed he was gradually developing problems with memory and thinking. It's the loss of the special things that we've done in the past. The memories together. Mm -hmm. It shows that the hippocampus is damaged on both sides. Neurologist Dr. Sam Gandhi of Mount Sinai Hospital in New York is one of Herman's doctors. Uh, he thought he had Alzheimer's disease. A panel of us who saw him couldn't agree on his diagnosis, whether he had Alzheimer's disease or, or CTE. CTE, or chronic traumatic encephalopathy, is a degenerative brain disease linked to repeated head injuries such as concussions. Abnormal tangles of a protein called tau help make the diagnosis, and until now, the only way to find them was at autopsy. This shows a Dr. A Gandhi performed an experimental PET scan that can detect the tangles in living patients to try to determine if Herman had CTE. A different scan had ruled out Alzheimer's. Herman's scan was positive for those tau tangles. The diagnosis was CTE. So that damage is caused by physical activity or is it caused by just age? In your situation, I think the best explanation is it's from the recurrent head injury. We don't have a way to confirm the diagnosis during life until now. And we can now establish the, 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 the true prevalence and how common this disease really is. Distinguishing Alzheimer's from CTE is crucial because the underlying brain pathology is different and a treatment that helps one disorder may not help the other. Fascinating advance, John, thanks very much.